Uh, other things, ma'am. Yeah. Um, um, great question. Let me amplify the the, the what's more of a point than a, the, and a good one than, than a question, and that's the idea that what's the role of popular culture with regard to helping us come to terms uh, with our death? And I think the role is huge, but we have a way to go. Americans, as you know, are the most death denying. Uh, how many of you have ever seen a dead body before you went to the uh, body burning <laughs> thing? Uh, you know, in Germany, the, the stiffs are displayed in the funeral parlor windows, right? You're eating a hamburger and looking at a stiff. Uh, we, we don't tend to uh, keep our dead around in the living room and view them and, and so on and so forth. We're very hush-hush about it. I think, I, I think in the long run, uh, popular culture has to be a big player. In a sense, though, th this is kind of a humble beginning. Just th this is a, a point of popular culture. Y you all, if you're sufficiently compelled by these ideas, will now hopefully go tell somebody else about them. And I think we have to start uh, at ground zero. One of the things that I've done for Neil, and that's spectacular, is we go talk about this stuff in high schools. I've talked about this in grade schools. I've talked about it in maximum security prisons, in old age homes, in business executive boardrooms. I think we have to, at the very local level, inject these ideas into public discourse and that that's the way we've got to get going. So, might I just say, where do you try to show these ideas? That is the Please sign up on the Ernest Becker Foundation sign up sheet because yeah. Alerted to what is available already. We're going to have three videos, and we already have four audio from Sheldon, and there are about a dozen other scholars that are in the same area. Yep. I'd love to keep you all in the board. Nice. Pictures of me for dartboards that we're going to make next. While you're on the German situation, that's an ideal place to tell them about that experiment in which uh, you uh, interview people on either side of the street. Yeah. Um, one of our most, that's, that's nice, Neil. Oh, we've done some stuff also uh, when you talked about visiting a funeral home. Uh, we've done some work in Germany where we interview people either in front of a funeral home or in front of a grocery store. And then we just ask them, you know, how much do you hate foreigners? A and in front of the funeral home, you hate foreigners more than in front of the grocery store. So just note that very subtle reminders of mortality have very potent effects on our behavior. In fact, our German colleagues have also demonstrated that after thinking about death, you will sit physically closer to someone from your same culture and further apart from someone who comes from a different culture. So we've done a lot of work in field settings and in lab settings that demonstrates that the death thing really does have a significant effect on all aspects of your behavior. Yeah, this, what I told you today. But, but I'm not being glib because the mechanics that underlie that uh, would require another hour or two to properly articulate. And of course, we're all growing old and you got, we got another minute or so. So if, if you're interested, write to me and I'll send you what we've written to try and account for why that's the case. But if I can ever scam another visit out here, I'd be happy to talk about that. I like it out here. All right, are we done? I'm, I'm not rushing things. I don't want you to be late. What, what happens, Jim, in between classes? <laughs> there, is there, are there? I, I don't know what they do. Uh, I, <laughs> I'm not trying to kick you. Oh, OK. All right, so I'm not in a rush. Let's break up so that if you have some place to go, you can do that. If not, we'll linger indefinitely because uh, I'm on vacation forever. Thank you. This was a lot of fun. Is this the way you teach every class every in class. New York, just yeah. like this? Demented. Demented. That's a little green short. And where does he get the energy? Thank you very but much. Thanks, Jim. Thank you. Thanks a lot.